Hello friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel Take Care Health Tips. So today as a part of data integration supervised, we are going to do this platform API basics and uh, we are going to look into the streaming API, the REST API, SOAP API and Bulk API we'll do later and uh, we'll, we'll move on. So friends, as we all know, streaming events, uh, so streaming API will let us push the real-time notifications to the clients using the publisher subscribe model, pub sub model, very popularly known as. And uh, some, types of some types of notifications are based on data changes in Salesforce. These uh, notifications are possible with change data capture events and push topic events. And uh, other notifications can be custom data that you define and they include uh, platform events and generic streaming. Streaming API is like your radar in your ship. It lets you define the events and push notifications to your app when the event occurs. You don't have to keep on actively looking out for your data changes or custom notifications. You won't have to constantly pull Salesforce and uh, make unnecessary API requests. This diagram very clearly mentions about it. This tracking data changes in Salesforce is usually very helpful when you have a business data stored in a system which is external to salesforce like aws or the azure data store so in that case you can use like streaming api to keep your external service in so with your salesforce data so for example you can we can use the streaming api to notify a fulfillment center whenever an opportunity is updated so having said that we definitely need to be aware about the push topic events or uh, uh, and they basically they enable to uh, stream the sales for the record changes to clients based on the criteria defined in a circle query in a push topic report and the generic streaming events uh, they are enable uh, us to publish event messages with an arbitrary string value that the client receives platform events is the new sort version of generic streaming with custom platform you can publish and subscribe to custom notifications and i can also subscribe to standard platform events that are defined and published by salesforce to monitor user and security related activity in salesforce and other things if you see event producers will do the event production and you will store it in the event bus and the consumer will be listening from the event bus so the first question would be streaming API's push paradigm lets you uh, like I think it's avoid missing, making unnecessary API requests or listening for notifications rather than pulling for data. And what is the second generation of push tap topic events? I think it should be change data capture events. And which replay option specifies the subscriber receives Event notifications with replay IDs 6, 7, 8, and 9. So I think it's for the uh, second option, which is, uh, which is <coughs> B and which is 5. So first attempt, we will get 100 points. Second, we will take us to 50 points. And we definitely don't want to go beyond 50 points. Uh, so we will be, hopefully, we will be uh, getting these. 100 points at the very first attempt, the fingers crossed. And here you go, we got the 100 points for the platform API basics. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, take any health tips if you haven't done so. Stay safe, stay motivated.